And we've been joined by UCF coach George O'Leary. Uh, the Knights are 6-1 and one overall, 3-0 and oh in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, last week, UCF had an open date. And this week, UCF back on the field against Houston at Bright House Network Stadium. It will be a 7 p.m. start on ESPN2. Uh, Coach, thanks for joining us on the call. If you could take a minute to tie up uh, how things went during your open week as you get ready for the uh, game against Houston this Saturday, please. Well, that was our third open date or by date, so we pretty much kept them all the same, and I gave the players some time to get back to academics and brought them back for two or three days of practice, more more getting ourselves better, UCF versus UCF, and and then, you know, got into the Houston game situation and tapes, so we got a chance to see what they're about and went from there. But obviously a very big game this Saturday as far as with Houston and very impressed with them on tape. I, I think they execute very well. I think obviously they have a lot of speed. And, you know, they're, they're playing very well on both sides of the ball. And, you know, you, you, you better have your A game ready because I think they cause a lot of issues on defense. And obviously they have a lot of weapons on offense. And with that, we'll have to take questions. Take questions for Coach O'Leary, please. Hit star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. We'll hear from Joseph Durarte with Houston Chronicle. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. How are we doing? Good, thank you. I was just wondering, just uh, on on Houston, what you've seen so far, just specifically on offense with uh, the true freshman quarterback O'Corn and the and the sophomore receiver Deontay Greenberry. Thank well, you. I think that they're, they're very good players, obviously, and uh, when I, I know a little about O'Corn from his, his days in Florida and stuff, and. Uh, you know, we already had two quarterbacks committed as far as what we were doing when, when he was around. But I think he's doing the, the, the keeping it fairly simple for him. He's executing very well. And I think uh, number three, that's who you're talking about, the receiver. I, I think he, he's a very, very good player. And, you know, has good speed, good good ball concentration. And uh, obviously they do a lot of things with him. And, you know, I, I think they're playing very smart on offense. They... They utilize their talent very well. They they don't do ask them to do anything they can't do. And you know I think what they do they do very well. Very productive on the field. And uh, you know they're just not a passing team. They run the ball extremely well. And and uh, they force you to defend the field not just vertically but horizontally. And uh, they're a good offense. There's no question about it. And next, I'll move to Joey Knight with Tampa Bay Times. Coach, for those of us who don't cover your team on a, on a week-to-week basis, could you talk about Jeff Godfrey? If he had not humbled himself and decided to move to another position, would you guys be where you're at now? Oh, yeah. Well, I think we have enough talent to do things. And I don't know if he humbled himself as much as he, he just got his head straight as far as what you know, he's a football player, and that's why I think he's utilizing his talents as best we can right now. And, uh, you know, I think he understands that. I think he's he's really matured. I think he got married, you know, and a lot of good things happened for him. And, you know, I think basically it's not as much as humbling. I don't see it that way as much as just maturing and understanding that, that you know, life is what it is. You, you got to basically dealt with the hand you dealt with and then just make the most of it. And I think he's done that, Joe, no question about it. Thank you. And do we have any other questions for Coach O'Leary, please? Coach, well, thank you for the time this week. Look forward to talking to you once again next Monday. Okay. All right, thank you very much. All right, and that is UCF against Houston. Uh, right at Work Stadium, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN2.